Is Cantrust stock a buy? Cantrust stock has been making headlines recently, and you can see here that the stock has actually tumbled over 86% in the past year. And this, of course, has investors worried about if the stock is heading down to $0 per share. I personally am not a Cantrust stockholder, but I am going to talk about the stock in this video, and I do want to point out some red flags that I did notice when I was looking into the stock, which I think every single one of you watching should be aware of. I want to really explain in this video why this stock may not be the best investment and why this company and stock may be headed on a path to much lower prices and potentially even entering bankruptcy in the near future. So a quick summary first of the company before we get into the stock and the issues surrounding it and why I have an issue with this investment. Cantrust is a Canadian licensed and regulated producer of medical green product with 40 years of experience in the industry. Over the years, they have invested heavily in their facilities, currently with a greenhouse that is massive at over 430,000 square feet, and they have plans to expand that even larger in the coming years. They sell many types of medical products. Well, actually, there's a little asterisk there because we'll talk about that shortly in the forms of oil, dried and even capsules for their patients. So from the surface, this seems like a pretty cool company. I mean, they are in a space that's growing. They have the facility to support that. So what's wrong with this investment? Well, unfortunately, it actually gets quite bad. So let's kind of rewind here a few months ago to dig deeper and understand what's going on. Back in early July of this year, the company was accused of operating rooms without a license and growing product even though they were not authorized to. Nearly 13,000 kilograms of product was confiscated from their facility because of this. And this, of course, shook investors and everyone in the space had their eyes now on the company. Then news broke that the executives of the company actually knew about this for quite a few months and turned a blind eye, which is where things started turning for the worse. This led to heavy selling in the stock, as you can see, with volume spiking and the stock dropping more than 20% in a single day. Fast forward to September and now we see that this company has actually confirmed that Health Canada has suspended their license, meaning they cannot sell any product right now. Remember I talked about that asterisk before? And that's because all the products listed on their website are currently not for sale. You're not able to actually go purchase those. This quote here actually describes this better. Cantrust will still be able to cultivate and harvest existing lots or batches previously propagated, as well as conducting ancillary activities to those lots, including drying, trimming, and milling. But until the suspension is lifted, they cannot propagate new lots or batches of product or engage in the sale or distribution of product, ultimately hurting their financials and bottom line. They are also unfortunately laying off around 20% of their workforce because of these issues, which is a sign that they are losing too much money and want to contain it as much as possible. The financial of this company from a surface level don't look too bad actually, and actually do look better than some of the other competitors in this space. However, we will dig a little bit deeper and I will show you one line that may actually question your investment in this stock. So currently they have around $55.5 million when it comes to their cash and investments and around $13.8 million in debt. So they do have enough cash ready for now. However, this is the line I want you to kind of pay close attention to when looking at their free cash flow. I am very concerned here because this was a negative $53.7 million last year. If Cantrus has another year of this or worse, which is very likely to happen with all the stuff going on around the company right now with their suspension and all that, Cantrust may actually run out of cash and have to resort to bankruptcy because their expenses will be too high for them to handle. Honestly, if I was an investor in Cantrust today, I would be looking long and hard at this investment to see if it actually does make sense to continue holding the stock. The stuff going on around this company is actually pretty serious. And a lot of times I say, you know, you kind of ignore the noise when the media starts picking up stuff. But in this case, it was actually something fundamental that the company did, which is affecting the whole company and has kind of essentially made them stop selling products. The bottom line for any company is to sell their services or their products to make money. And if a company can't do that, they can't generate any income. And as a result, they are going to see some tough times ahead. This is a highly speculative, highly risky investment that I personally have chosen not to put any of my hard-earned money into. 
The charts here show us that we've gone from a high of $12 per share to a current price of around $1.31 per share, essentially wiping out over 90% of the company's value in just one year. And that right there shows just how risky this stock is. And don't think that just because the stock is at $1.31 right now, that there's not going to be a lot more downside and that there's more upside potential, because that does not seem to be the case here when we look at their balance sheet and the stuff surrounding the company. And I personally think that actually may be a lot more downside here than upside. You got to keep a close eye on their financials and their next earnings report is actually going to be very critical to see if the stock actually has a chance to recover and maybe start moving higher or if the suspension is actually affecting them severely where they're losing too much money and investors lose even more confidence. They could also be fined large amounts of money here from Health Canada because of these violations and they may not actually get their license back which is another risk to consider. So these are all things that you should be aware of if you hold this stock today. There's just too much negative around the stock for me personally. And if you want to get into this industry, which is completely understandable, I personally do have an investment in this industry. You may want to look at companies like Afria, Canopy, or even Aurora, because those are the type of companies that have proven that they can actually expand. They actually have a path to profitability if they're not already profitable and they're growing exponentially while following the rules for the most part. But if a direct investment is too risky for you, which is completely understandable as well, then maybe you wanna look at kind of a side investment, maybe looking at a stock like Altria, which has an investment in Kronos, and they will benefit from Kronos kind of expanding and growing over time. So that could be an indirect play for this industry as well. I really do feel for investors who kind of got sucked in here, especially near the highs, and have been kind of waiting for the stock to recover, but all it keeps doing is just going lower and lower and lower over time. However, I do hope that there was a lesson learned here that you shouldn't just throw your money into a speculative stock and just hope that it goes up because you're better off going and gambling, maybe betting on black or red, because that's essentially what you're doing here by investing in companies like Cantrust. It's more or less a gamble. You just cannot throw your hard earned money into a speculative stock like this and just hope that things work out. Because let me tell you a secret, a lot of times, things don't work out for the best. Guys, hope this video was informative. Hope this video was kind of to the point. I just wanted to kind of drill home the fact that Cantrust, while it may have been a company that many have considered in the past, has had a lot of issues. And maybe it is time to kind of look at your investment, go through all the filings of this company and see if this is a company that you really do want to keep holding. And really question if you do still have faith in the management team after kind of lying and deceiving investors. Thank you so much for watching guys. Drop a huge like on this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you're brand new here as well. But either way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest politically. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.